What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the History of Hyenas. I'm Chris Stefano, aka Chrissy Clambutts. Giannis Pappas, <laughs> aka Yanni, Yanni almost. almost. Yanni I, almost. I knew it. And then we got a new guest. We got uh, a guest on our new episode. We love him. Good friend of mine, Jer Jeremiah Watkins, aka Jerry the Fish Stick. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's a new one. What's up, Jeremiah? How you guys doing? Yeah, we, we were at the same wedding uh, this weekend. We can't say who. Um, but we, we signed not, an NDA. We can't. Yeah. We really. We, we're not allowed to, right? Yeah. We I, can't. I think we were just weren't, weren't supposed to post about it. Weren't supposed. To post. No, I don't think you're supposed to even. But here's it. all the juicy deets, right here. <laughs> yeah. Right <now. laughs> Luis Gomez was on ketamine. Um, you know what I liked about that? He was the first uh, person who came in here during the song and just went with it and danced. Yeah. Every, everyone else just has a confused look on their face and they go like, "What? What am I listening well, to? The, what is that?" The kid's got a musical background. You know, yeah. Jeremiah Watkins from, of course, fucking wildly popular Kill Tony, and then he's got um, his other podcast, Jeremiah Wonders, and then what's the album? Uh, it's called Reagan and Watkins. That's a music comedy album. Get that shit, baby. Yeah. If you look on his uh, website, it's it, it's the picture. Yeah, well, you look like you're on. It, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like his grinder profile. Straight up, and, uh, straight Reagan up and sex, man. Yeah. Straight yeah. up sex, dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. You uh, yeah, man. You're you're just a Kansas cutie. Yeah, <laughs> it's just what man, it is. Why couldn't that have been my name? Yeah, yeah. rather the Kansas than cutie. The, the Jerry Fish Stick. Yeah. The can well, dude. It's this podcast. Here's one thing you'll know about this podcast: uh -huh. is, uh, reality is just a suggestion for the next 45 minutes to an hour. So you, whatever you want it to be, it'll be. I'm going to say things about my life and your life that just aren't true. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to stand by them. But it's just reality is whatever you want it to be. So it's kind of just the fucking fun zone. I love it. Yeah. Fish stick just means skinny kid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, be we're beef cakes. Yeah. He's just a cake. Yeah. We figured out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's not an American citizen. So he doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Venetia, Venetia is just a piece. She's just a piece. Yeah. She's a Greek you're, piece. You're a fish stick. And but you're you fish stick. Will, yeah. All you right. won't get banged in the ass like it's deliverance, though. Okay. If I ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can okay. punch Sorry. through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, punch through is what we punch also say. Punch through means get banged out too. Yeah. Now Jeremiah's a religious kid. He's Are a you? religious kid. Well, he's a, he's a, you don't drink alcohol. I don't. Because of the background. Because of Kansas background, right? Yeah, that and, and family stuff. But yeah, yeah. 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 Also, oh, it's because you had a couple of people get drunk and kill some people. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's I mean, just it, what it is. You yeah. boil it down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You had just a couple of fucking DUIs that, you know, resulted really in homicides, and it's just that's when you just stay away from a course. Yeah, that's at the heart of the story. It sounds like. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. How, yeah my dad it sounds like you got straight to the nucleus of why he doesn't drink. Yeah, because like you know, my dad gambled away my mother's life savings, and we had to live in a shack in Lancaster, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, for six months. So now I just don't bet on the games, right? Because yeah. it's a family problem. Wait, so can we talk? about this what happened what the homicides oh I, know, I was just i was going is, is that true oh just mass murders yeah no i'm saying did anyone in your family ever drive drunk and kill somebody oh you just made it up okay. i made it up well, okay i just yeah yeah he All just right. said reality was a suggestion it is so. for him yeah, yeah. for me so I, I, I'm still I, here. I was leaning into it. i was like oh yeah people yeah. started dying left yeah. and yeah. right well you never know kansas you almost have a sense that like you know i you feel like kansas people still settle things with like hey you take 10 steps back and we'll figure this out like man you yeah because i feel like kansas just became part of america a couple years ago you yes. guys were wild for a long yeah. time <laughs> man we were wild yeah bleeding kansas yeah what town from can oh, what town are you from in kansas i'm from kansas city that area but uh overland park and olathe which are like suburbs of kansas overland city. park home of the btk killer whoa little factor right you there know your yeah. facts yeah bind torture kill yeah he yeah. was a wild one too yeah the thing is with me if, if he would have bind tortured and tried to come i would just would have come and that would have thrown him off <laughs> I'm getting bound to torture. Yeah. Can you imagine he was he tried to do that to Jim Norton and he just gets a load on his face? <laughs> he, you know, do you guys know about the BTK? He was yeah. he worked for the he worked for like that's the perfect job for a guy who's trying to get into your home yeah. is to work for like a parks department or something. No, like he worked that. for a security company. Oh, okay. So he would come in and like he would put he would lay out your security system yeah. and at the same time figure out exactly how he's gonna get in there. Yeah. And kill you. Yeah. And look at that like guy. Big time wow. narcissist, this fucking guy. Yeah. He just looks like somebody's dad. Yeah. He, well, that's what it was. I mean, there's an interview of, uh, there's a news footage of him dressed in his security outfit. They were interviewing him on, 
do, does he hope they find the BTK killer? He's like, yeah, I hope they do. Like ten years before he got caught, but it was him. Yeah. So like the local news interviewed him, saying if they, you know, they want him to get caught. Yeah. He looks like if Doctor Phil chose the wrong path. <laughs> yeah. 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 He looks like. Listen, I just like killing people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like if, like, yeah, he had an alcohol problem and he went down or uh, he went yeah. down a different road. Yeah. It didn't work out for Doctor Phil. That that's what it would look like. Yeah. BTK. Yeah. Um, Kid's yeah. got a sweet goatee though, in, in, yeah. at his trial. Yeah, and you're he a, had a real relief kid. pitcher's goatee. Yeah, you're a screwed in kid too, Jeremiah, because you're just you're just doing things right. You're out in L.A. You're on the big podcasts. You know Rogan. It's just about basically success comes down to now. Do you know Rogan or don't know Rogan? <laughs> and it's just one. I of like this. how that was like one of the cre- one of the credits. It's like you know him. Yeah, you know Rogan. yeah. That's what I should have said. Yeah. At the beginning. Kid yeah. knows Rogan, and Rogan knows him. He's screwed in. Yeah, and you were twirling your nipples while you were asking for some strange. Yeah, well, reason. I'm horned up from the BTK killer. It's yeah. what it is. No. So. <laughs> And screwed in means uh, you're, you're smart kid. You're a smart kid. Smart kid. You, yeah. yeah, plugged dialed in, smart. In. Plugged dialed in. in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Screwed in. Yeah, All screwed in. in, dialed in. Yeah. Because, yeah, and only only non-Jews can be screwed in because Jews, you're just born screwed in. You're just born that That's way. what the Yami is. It's yeah. just the top of the okay. screw. Yeah. Okay. Why did you choose L.A. instead of New York to do comedy? Uh, I felt, well, I wanted to do some acting stuff, so I just felt like that was, it had a little bit more to offer me. But, yeah. I mean, the goal is to be bicoastal because I love coming out to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, we should go out to LA more. Well, we have to go definitely. to LA. We're like, he said we could come on Kill Tony. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I gotta, I'll talk to Tony about it. Yeah, yeah, you guys would be literally perfect for that. Yeah, show. no, we'll yeah. come on there and go. We have, I think what you said being bi-coastal is just, it's just a necessity of today. Yeah. You have to go to LA. Yeah. We have to go there because the podcasts are so big and that's where the, you know, kids buy the tickets from. And you guys have to come here. I guess you don't, really don't have to come here. No, they don't have to come. We don't yeah. have to go there either necessarily, but we should. Well, we should go there because the like if we go on like if Tom Segura invites you on the podcast, like you you should go there because you're going to come back with ticket sales back here. Yeah, but it's like Jeremiah is making time to come for us, which is nice for him. But he, all he could do is lose his career. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's, That's the that's only it. thing that could happen. <laughs> the stakes are high. Yeah. on history. Yeah, you're going to get today. a couple of our followers to follow you, and it's going to be great. But also, you could just be swooped up in a storm where I'm just being pro Nazi, and your face is on the camera. It just that's a, that's <laughs> a, <laughs> always a possibility. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they invited really me. the only thing. But we go and kill Tony, and our lives will change. Uh, yeah, they yeah. invited me on Fighter and the Kid, but then my dad's dying. It's so what it is. Yeah. I have it. I have a note. Yeah, his dad's been note. dying for the last year, but now he's really close. Yeah, oh. he's getting yeah. close. Yeah. Wow. So well, you see, Jeremiah gets serious because he's from Kansas, and they take you know. But it's just the truth is, I mean, he, he's a lot more. He's doing so much better on the podcast while, you know, when he keeps thinking his dad's dying and his dad just won't die. It's like motivation. So, yeah. yeah. It's okay. like motivation. Bit, yeah, so yeah. and we got big live shows coming up this week. So I'm about two minutes away from just putting a pillow over his dad's face and just <laughs> ending it all so we can slam these shows. Because I can't have Yanni one foot in, one foot out. Yeah. And uh, he's one foot in, one Yanni, foot out. Yanni, just one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 His Shush. dad's almost at the finish line. We just got to give him a little nudge. Yeah. 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 He's on the runway. Yeah, I may just yeah, shoot him with a t-shirt and we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's clear for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chrissy Wild. Yeah, I'm just wild. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's just what it is. I mean, yeah, Yanni and I were close. And then uh, Giannis is moving out. Um, of his apartment, so Joe DeRosa is going to move in, who looks yeah, enough man. like Giannis that I'm just going to make Joe DeRosa become Giannis. Yeah, because I can physically overpower. He DeRosa. could definitely get away with my gym if I just gave him my gym membership. I think I could keep it there, and like, yeah. they would go. And Nobody they would, knows. Yeah, yeah, it's just we look like it's. Yeah, same you guys kind of. both look like you're on estrogen therapy. Like it's you the same said, thing. <laughs> yeah, we look like we're both campaigning for a hot shot Democrat. Yeah, you candidate. look like yeah, you both look like KD Lang with testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had to room with DeRosa and Lewis over the weekend oh, at my that wedding, and they both had just gotten out of the shower. And Lewis was like, hey, doggy, who has the better body? And I'm like, <laughs> they're like literally trying to flex and stuff. Yeah. And Lewis had his boxers pulled up, so it was hiding his love handles. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, dude, you got to drop the, yeah, the boxers below the belly button line. You can't have them hiked all the way up and, yeah. and, and acting like all tough and stuff. Yeah. And then he pulled them down. I'm like, yeah, your bodies are both terrible. They're yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah. And DeRosa just doesn't have a man's body. No, yeah. he's got tits. He, he's got no shoulder. He's got tits and he's got no yeah. shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, so it's wild. But I've got a conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the kid, Good conversation. the kid, the kid, fucking, he pulls girls. Oh, that kid, oh, he does. Puss. He does. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, he was, he was, he, he was working on something at the wedding. I was like, wow, this guy's gonna bang this girl in the woods. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's even surprised. <laughs> he's even surprised by it. He told me that he, that he's like, so he's like, why did you, why did you do that? 
Yeah, yeah. Like after he hooks up with him. Yeah. I know. No, he's adopted, so he was raised by an Italian family. Yeah, because he's really his blood is really a little. It's got some Sandra D in it. Oh, he's full Sandra. He's, what is he? Egyptian? He's Egyptian. Yeah, gross. So he's got Ew. he's got those skills <laughs> where you know they know how to work a deal. They get in there like, bro, bro, you know. Yeah. Come, let me talk to me, bro. He's got a deal. He gets yeah. in there. He knows yeah. how to swindle. Yeah, he's a fucking swindler. He's a swindler. Yeah, he's had a swivel and swindle. He's a Sandra though. He's full Sandra. Yeah, he's full Sandra. Full Sandra. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He's a Sandra. Um. Sandra D. He's a Sandra adopted by Italians. He's a he's Sandra, Sandra adopted by Italians. He yeah. lived in. Yeah, he was um, some suburb of Philadelphia. He lives in Philly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's going to be moving into Giannis's apartment. And he was asking me all these questions about Giannis's apartment. I said, Joe, the thing you need is only one reason and one reason alone to move in to Giannis's apartment. It's got a view of the Freedom Tower. And if that's not good enough for you, get fucking over the wall yeah okay go you back to egyptian roots you got really close to rolling the Last catapult on. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was like guy you could see the freedom tower i mean what else do you want yeah now jeremiah gets to stay within the laws in the walls right well jeremiah would you ever Kansas. even yeah so you wouldn't even consider putting him in a catapult no i, I no no to he, get him over the wall No, he'd be on the night's watch at the wall he's one of us yeah he's one of us yeah yeah no he's john snow <laughs> yeah he's making sure if these fucking fucks don't try to come climb back over because yeah. they're white walker <laughs> <laughs> now you look like you've been American for many generations. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an American. He's yeah. got an Amer- a very American look. But if he was European, he's one of the first to go. We saw it's people. True. You'd yeah. be rolled can, over by a fucking he, Nazi tank immediately. <laughs> people I mean, ask we me use all the your time. Your fucking skull as cannon fodder. Yeah. So okay, sorry. Was that too much? Because it's just you're basically saying he's got a little bit of a Polish look. Is a that little what you're bit, saying? but way shot she. Way shot she. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the pictures this kid sending me, I'm like, dude, I know you got an ACL surgery, but you also look like you're pumping estrogen into your veins. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what they did when you were out, but I think you got some estro in. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. No, but with a name like Jeremiah, Jeremiah Watkins. That's like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, his you're family, either a number one draft pick, if you know what I mean. Yeah, or you're you, or you. You come from a family that cleared out some Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you definitely made way for yeah. the white man. He's a nice guy. He's you know religious, and he's like, I don't drink, I don't do anything. But if you have, yeah, if you want to come out here. You know, Tatanka, I'll fucking scalp you. Yeah, because the kids yeah. that walked west, hey, those kids were tough kids. They were tough. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're walking in. That's the thing. You're cut from a cloth of like just tough, strong people because they had to have the courage to walk west and they don't know what they're going to face. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. I was in the NRA as a kid. Were you really? <laughs> yeah, six yeah. years old, NRA hat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. That's what it is, yeah. dude. <laughs> What's York, up? I get it, man. We <laughs> sound so fucking stupid to people from other places in this country. Yeah. Like, I've already said to them, like, what's going on? I felt like Kansas just joined the union three minutes ago. Yeah. You go to Kansas City, it's a regular city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But when you're from New York, we're just surprised other places exist. We're fucking stupid kids. We're stupid kids. Yeah. You know, Kansas City's a nice city. I it's mean, a, it's a boring city, but yeah. it's a nice city. I mean, I never want to go there. I could fly over it and like i'll close yeah. but yeah it just that's why they call them flyover states. yes exactly yeah. it's gonna keep on going yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no no kansas city's not a boring city um i actually was there i was there for a royals game and i've done the comedy club there and both times i've had i've had a lot of fun yeah no it's a good city good how's the barbecue, the barbecue? where did where, where did you have barbecue at <laughs> i i don't remember oh. I, I i also don't think i had barbecue i'm just trying to be positive okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a, that's like yeah. literally one of the like the main things like hey we got barbecue and then yeah like, yeah. yeah no because i'm just a real new york kid the truth is no matter how good your city is i just i just don't want to go i want to stay in new york city yeah i just want to be i'm a new york city kid but i will say publicly that i like this city or that city because i'm in an entertainment uh field and you just you know you want to sell tickets here but the truth is yeah. is i really just don't want to leave new york ever again i just want to be here yeah okay that's just what i don't want to go anywhere let me ask you this question joe yeah. pesci in casino was that a real uh uh kansas city accident was that like what was that i don't i haven't seen casino oh you haven't seen that no i've only seen it once either it's not my favorite movie pull it out he, he like has this overdone accent is he from chicago no but oh. it, he does kind of do, he talks like yeah he talks more like and it it's sounds weird like chicago. Mm. oh it's like really like overdone i mean it's he he's he, funny they, in it. so he they claim to that he has a, a kansas city accent yeah because they're from kansas city okay. they're gangsters from kansas city and, um, Do they have gangsters in Kansas City still, Jeremiah? No. That you've never seen? No. Not Just that I'm gangs. aware of. There, there, uh, there's some parts where you can drive around where like, I was driving around with a buddy and he's like, oh, the mafia and gangs used to be like around this area, parts of town, but like nothing nothing now that I know of. Yeah, yeah. I've ne- yeah. yeah, it's been like years since there's been anything. Any of that shit there. Yeah. We're about to watch a little... Uh, uh, Joe Pesci video and the ad is for Little Mermaid Live. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, dude. I have that. Ca- I have that in my phone to to watch for tomorrow because my daughter like has been. It's counting down. These kids are counting down to Little Mermaid Live tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Oh, that's why it's doing that. Then. ABC. Shout out. Ready? Yeah. He tried to really. It was kind of like you know. All right. 
whatever. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so just have like the angry scenes on. Um, I, every time I watch Goodfellas at Casino, it's f- like funny to me now. I it's only funny. watch Goodfellas. I've never I've seen, seen Casino once. I didn't love it. Uh, casino, Should I watch it again? It's too yeah. long, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's too long though. Should watch it again. Yeah. Um, Jeremiah, that's the history of hyenas, and you. You want to talk about Thomas Edison? Now, yeah. we I love Thomas Edison. Giannis thinks that it's all about Tesla, and Thomas Edison's a piece of shit. I never said that, but yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you, I said mean, he, Tesla, you said he stole Tesla's work. Well, Tesla was like a screwed-in kind of like business guy. Yeah, I'm just trying to cause controversy on the podcast. Yeah, uh-huh. let's do it. Yeah. It's Let's just do it. It's a new screwed-in idea I have. Why do you have with Edison, Yeah, man. what's yeah. up? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come you, on. you said that Thomas Edison, you said Tesla's better, and you said uh, Jeremiah's drumming sucks. That's what I said. Defend yourself. Yeah, no one's driving Edison's out here. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, but, te- yeah, you know, Elon Musk really made Tesla famous in, in, uh, yes. to, the, to the layman. Did you know General Electric is from Edison's company? Mm-hmm. No, I yeah. didn't. Yeah. Well, that's why, that's why. Yeah. So, so... Um, what do you like about Thomas Edison? What, what's fascinating to you about him? Uh, what's he's, there not to like about I mean, Thomas Edison? Yeah, he's fucking I mean, cute. come on, where do I even begin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he is a straight. He is a straight white man from history, so be careful. Yeah, he did have, <laughs> yeah. be careful. He's sinister. We'll put a disclaimer on this episode. Yeah, I'm sorry that we talked uh, nicely about a famous white man in history. Sorry, sorry, guys, we have a straight white male guest, and we're talking about a straight white Thomas man. Edison, uncut, <laughs> yeah, live on History Hyenas. <laughs> Parental guidance advised. Yeah. Um, and if it's two dads, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so, so uh, you say, oh, initially when you're looking up Thomas Edison, he was born in Milan. Oh, that's cool. Ohio. Yeah, I yeah. love yeah. Milan, yeah. Ohio. We got a few of those. Athens, Georgia. Let's just be careful. Yeah, yeah, Milan, yeah there's a Ohio. Rome, New York. Yeah. yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, yeah. It's a little Honey, different. I'm gonna take you to Rome someday. <laughs> yeah, you're just in the car six yeah, yeah. hours upstate. Yeah, there's also a Troy, New York, and that's a little different. It's a little mm. different than highest, yeah. one of the highest crime rates in the country yeah um okay so what what do you what do you love about him uh i just like how he kept trying to invent his entire life Mm -hmm. and it's it's one of those like just ruthless mindsets like he was definitely out of his mind crazy and and socially like had a lot of issues with like ego and stuff like that. Sure, but I mean that's sometimes what takes you to yeah. well, that that's next the ol- level. That's the only way to get there. And it's yeah. like you, sometimes you got to just keep trying stuff. Like Giannis, po- this podcast is finally working because he tried a few one with Nate Bargatze and it didn't work. <laughs> 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 yeah, if Nate hears it, is it is what it is. Yeah, Nate's a just Nate's the type of guy. He's like Thomas Edison. Yeah, if I was he tra- heard that, he's just gonna he's gonna put a bullseye on both of us. Yeah, and he's gonna say I'm gonna sell more tickets than both of us. Yeah, guys. I shared a cabin with Nate this weekend, and he busted. Busted out his ticket sales on his laptop and was telling us how many tickets he sold. Yeah, I mean, the kid's out of his fucking mind. He's a fucking egomaniac. You're an egomaniac. He can't help himself. Hey, it's good wild. friend of mine. Love, one of my best friends. Yeah. yeah, dad's a clown. And okay. yeah, no, our, the podcast would have never worked, Nate. This one's good. Yeah. I know it burns you up, but it's just what it's it just is. It's just S-L-K-S, okay? Yeah. S-L-K-S. Yeah. Okay? yeah. Right. Um, S-L-K-S. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, yeah, with Thomas Edison, I mean, first of all, this thing, the thing about the history of hyenas is sometimes we stand by facts that may or may not be true. Thomas Edison, did he invent the telephone? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no. No. Okay. Alexander Graham Bell. You're right. Yeah. He's and an he was actually one of his main competitors. Like, okay. Like, that was like, have you have you seen any of that stuff on, uh, uh, do you know the backstory between Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, tell us. Okay. Uh, let me try to break this down quickly. Basically, uh, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger hated each other for years mm-hmm. because basically they were both the same type. Right. Like like but Arnold was a bigger version of yeah. of what Sylvester Stallone was. And uh one of Sylvester Stallone's movies uh it won like an award for the worst uh like like a Razzie or something like that, like Got the it. worst of all time. Yeah. And uh, it like like put him into like this pit, but that, like that's what drove him. His hate for Arnold drove him to write wow. like all the Rocky movies and everything. Wow! Right. And then years yeah. later, Arnold and they would trash talk each other on different like like uh, yeah, talk shows and stuff like that to each other. I mean, yeah. there's no Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like is like so they would talk beef on like like the late night shows and stuff like that. Wow! And then Arnold years later, the same thing happened with one of his movies. Is he want like he was in the exact same place, and that's when they actually became friends because they're like, oh, we're the same freaking person. 
Right. Wow. So right. now they're like they like literally had a colonoscopy together like at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Like like they like go and do like manly you stuff together. Yeah, yeah, so we, we did. Yeah? Did yeah. Well we did it for no, we That's, did it as fictionally, that, but yeah. <laughs> um so so you're saying Alexander Graham Bell he is drove, that to Edison. Yeah, he j- kind of drove him. And I mean later on like Tesla and stuff like that. There's different people who eventually you realize that Edison saw any competition as a huge threat. Right. So like that's yeah. like what drove him to like buy up people's like yeah. like IP that's, like intellectual property and different ideas and stuff like that and then he'd put it out under his name. That's what like the egomaniac comes in where he would buy people's ideas and write it off as his own inventions. Yeah. Well, he yeah. did that to Tesla. Yeah, essentially with the current with the um, not the DC cur- the current. AC alternating Alter- alternating, Alter- alternating current. Alternating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he kind of just like yeah, but you know you got to blame Tesla a little bit too. Because, like, Tesla had no business acumen. He was, like, this fucking guy who was just like, yeah, I'm, you know, I just want to give this to the world. Yeah. And it's like, hey, guy. Yeah. Be an adult. Yeah. You know? You want to make a little money. Yeah, it's like when comedians and, you know, comes out beautifully in Dance Order Special, which comes out on HBO very soon, he talks about it, but it's like, yeah, like, um... We're not artists here. As co- Stop saying, you could be an artist all you want as a comedian, but it's like, are you making money? Because you got four roommates and you're telling me that you did the Tonight Show again. Yeah. Nobody cares, guy. Yeah, no. Do, do, what do you do? You're taking the bus here. No. You're so never gonna, there's never go gonna, be an artist, but I need to make money. Yeah. There's, well, this isn't an art. There'll yeah. never be a museum of comedy where you can just go look at you know somebody fucking somebody's dick joke. Yeah. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah, entertainers were full of shit. Yeah, you posted a video. We of have you, personality disorders. Yeah, you posted a video of you at that Lucille Ball uh, museum where they you can do other people's things, like Sebastian Maniscalco's jokes. It got ten. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No, but it's nice though. Uh, it's, it's nice fun. out there. Yeah, no, bring us out for the Lucille Ball. Yeah, bring festival. up. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I just want to. Yeah, you'll caveat. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a great. Yeah, up I had a great Ball time. Festival. It was fun. It's going to cost you about five Gs. That's what it That's is. That's just what the new price. Yeah, is. the price may go so up. Get ready. Depending on yeah, yeah. Depending on if Jeremiah can introduce us to Rogan or not. It's yeah, going to go what up. It is. Price going up. Well, Rogan did say, Rogan did say on his podcast that you have to always have, even if the, everything's going great in your life, something has to internally motivate. You have to be mad at someone and in competition with someone. Even if you create it in your mind, I listened to one of the podcast episodes. He said, do that. He said, because that's the only way that you can ever like get forward in this. And it's true. It's like anybody in history who's been great, they had somebody – Right on their tail. Even Richard Pryor and George Carlin, they would try to outdo each other because they were both on each other's tails. Yeah. You know, so it's like... And people would always be trading names back and forth, like, who's the greatest? It's like, oh, is it Carlin? Is it Pryor? Yeah, like, they're right behind each other. Yeah. Who was Jordan's main competition? Would it Barkley? Dr- he had a bunch. I mean, he just had a bunch era. of guys at that Dude, time. Dude, right? yeah. you know what... Jo- have you ever seen that, The like, w- do you know what Jordan did with his his coach, like, from high school? Have you no. ever seen that, like, that footage? No. It's... It's like saddening. Like, like it's so many years later. The guy who cut Jordan from his high school team years later. Like, I think, uh, like he was, was accepting was the Hall of Fame speech. Yeah, his oh, Hall okay. of Fame. Oh my he god, he brought that guy yeah. back yeah. out and yeah. just is like, kind of like, yeah, kind of flexing on him, being like, you, 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 like, yeah. you know what you did wrong? Have you ever wow. seen Michael Jordan? You know what you did down? wrong? It's dude. It's, it's uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. He um, he, his whole speech is just saying thank you guys. For like giving me the motivation. This is who I beat. Yeah. I'm glad that you guys thought you could beat me. I beat you. Yeah. Thank you, John Stockton. I whipped your ass. Yeah. Thank you, Carmelo. Him, whipped your ass. It's like his uh like in Game of Thrones, Arya's like kill list. He's like just wow. reading down yeah. the list of people yeah. who he's <laughs> annihilated over the years. And he's yeah. like, and by the way, hey coach who cut me, get up here. Yeah. I'm gonna make an example out of you. Yeah, yeah, but you don't become Michael Jordan unless you have that in Yeah, but yeah. you gotta admit the guy's a tough hang. He's a tough <laughs> hang. Yeah, he's a tough hang. Just like Bill Burr. Just like Bill, tough Burr. Hang. <laughs> Bill Burr's a tough hang. He's a fucking Jesus guy's a tough hang. He just yells at you about arguments you had six years ago. As <laughs> look I mean, but the kid's fucking the best. He's the best comic, yeah. in my opinion. Bill Burr's the best to ever do it. Yeah, he's yeah. one of the best. By the way, every time I watch clips of you, I think you're going to pass out, like throughout, yeah. like, uh, yeah. like two. Because here's the thing: you get really worked up. Yeah, we. Yeah. Uh, he's I about to hit wild. a wall soon. Yeah, no, I'm gonna hit the wall soon. Yeah, well, no, but today we're only you know, we're not going too long, so it's good. And I've been eating healthy. I had a good shit this morning. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nice. Um, so what else about Thomas Edison? You said you watch a documentary on him. We're just fascinated. We love to learn. The kids. Yeah. We like to go back in history. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why did he electrocute w- the elephant? What's that? Why did he electrocute the elephant? Okay, so there, I, I looked at multiple videos about that because it was in one documentary, and then there's some other videos saying that he what he didn't actually electrocute the elephant. One of the videos said that, uh, like, one of the infamous things with uh, Edison is that uh, some people claim that he killed an elephant as propaganda to use against the uh, the alternating current. 
Okay. Because it was like uh, he he did a lot of things where he used propaganda to try to make alternating current not the hip thing. Right. So he promoted it as like uh, like for the death penalty. He goes, you know what? Like uh, I think that we should use alternating current for something. I think that we should use it for the death penalty. Basically, scaring people to be like uh, trying to associate alternating current with death because they had some accidents yep. where they're working on the power lines where people died up on the power lines with alternating current because it was it was way be- better obviously because they could cover it over way more cities mm-hmm. and like run power lines through miles and miles of cities but his direct current the why it was more of a primitive technology was you had to build little individual hubs right. for only a mile area right. so it looked way uglier and is just a worse technology but he's right. trying to slam the other guys because he's so egotistical and like no mine is better right so, even though even he probably knew deep down it wasn't knew. so the elephant thing the elephant controversy is they had to put down an elephant and uh uh, this elephant had killed a couple of people in the circus or whatever that it was involved with, like a couple of police freaks. officers, yeah. like three people. So they're like, we got to put this down. So so it was suggested that they use alternating current because it is a more powerful current. So they killed it with electrocution, but he sent his film crew there to film it and he sold it as part of his one of his little motion pictures that they could that somebody could go to in the the little theaters. Uh, I forget what they're called um, uh, to view it on like lo- like an individual yeah, like, like individual screens. So, so he's words, a complete he was, fucking psychopath. He's a psychopath. He's but a he's psychopath. A mar- but he's a marketing genius in the same way. Like he makes money off of everything. Same thing like Steve Jobs. It's like the iPhone is not as good as the Samsung. It's not as good, but the iPhone is such a better marketer. Obviously, Steve Jobs is a fucking genius, but I'm just saying. No, but you make a good point. Apple products yeah. are just about the marketing because the Samsung product, things that the Apple can do, there was face technology that could open up the Samsung phone in like 2007. Yeah. So it's like, but it wasn't marketed well. Right. And no. people want their text messages to turn blue because iPhone, they change. Steve Jobs, like, I think if we change the, everybody's text used to be green. Even initial iPhone text used yeah. to be green. Yeah. They're like, let's. Let me separate myself. We'll make them blue. Blue's yeah. a better color. People like blue. Yeah. And then it's all marketing. You're you're right. And also he was a notorious dick. Who, Stevie Jobs? Yeah, that's what everyone says. <laughs> I mean, that's truly and like but you some need reason, it. but in some reason it's real. Like if you say that, people like he's become such an icon because yeah. even he built that reputation by himself. Yeah. But then when you hear the first hand accounts, you're like, the guy was a dick. Yeah. Sure. He was a dick to everybody. He's yeah, dick well, to his daughter. That's he was why I say they don't meet your heroes because probably your hero's a dick. Because Tough they only, Hanks. They only got that way because they fucking were able to black everything out. Yeah. I mean, Rick Flay didn't see his family for 20 years, but I want to. Uh, that guy sells tickets. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there's some truth to that. Oh, they um, were, it was called a, kinet- uh, a kinetoscope. That's, okay. That's, uh, that's how he was filming and, and showing them back. It was like these. Uh, Basic uh, series of of like images that were like the first like kind of like moving picture kind of thing. Now, wh- do you like this guy? You do you like him because he was such like a competitive psychopath? Because you seem like the opposite. You don't have that energy. You gotta like. I like you immediately. You hate. You have that type of energy where you're liked immediately. I, yeah. I I think I, I feel like a tough hang when you first meet me. You are a tough hang. Yeah, I'm a tough yeah, hang. Yeah. yeah, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see in our group chats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of, I, I don't know. It's no KS. It's yeah. no KS. I, I think it's kind of, uh, I kind of like that about him, even though I think I have elements of that, like, inside of me. I don't really show that side of it, but I'm a very competitive person yeah. by nature. I don't think I would go out of the way. Uh, I'm a very collaborative person. Yeah. So I'm the opposite in that way, where if somebody has a good idea, like, whether it be like a writing room or whatever idea for whatever, like that's what goes. Not like, no, it needs to come out of my head right. and my mouth. Right. That's the only thing that I didn't like about him was that he would go to like such an extent to discredit other people yeah. to be like, no, 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 it has to come from me. And that's all wasted energy. And Jeremiah is a very brave person because at the wedding that we did, it was, uh, just our, it was like 40 degrees, the lake is freezing, and they had this blob out there where you could jump off like a diving board that was what 15 20 feet in the it air was high and then hit up and then it hits a blob and it shoots you into the lake and jeremiah did it and it, it, he did it where everybody else where, i mean we're literally oh, in overcoats yeah. blow, you could blow smoke out of your mouth that's how cold it was and he fucking did it and he got by far the most air i was yeah. i was pretty happy in my air they kept telling me to go to, to farther to the end of it i'm like no yeah the way this bows it, if i go farther yeah. back it's gonna launch me like dude i got some yeah crazy hang yeah. time dog <laughs> yeah no it was fucking amazing it was wild 
Yeah, yeah. And then he kept his shirt off, and he just was like, "Yeah, I mean, I was a little bitch. I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get a strap throat. I'm not going to do it." And he was just out there doing it. So there's a fearlessness that he has that also equates to success. Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about your family history and uh, like who you where your stock come from? Your do you guys vote right? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Kansas goes. Is Kansas a swing state? What does Kansas? Kansas do most goes of? right. Yeah. They're right. They're they red go right, state. but oh, more yeah. recently they've become way more liberal. Like a lot, like Texas too. I mean, it, yeah. it's become drastically more yeah. liberal compared to how it used to be. Yeah. It used yeah. to be so far right. Well, yeah, back Kansas. In the day. Are, cause, so you're definitely from. If your old school family's been there, then you're like Jeremiah. Like they're proud of you, but they're like, oh yeah, my son went to my. Mike, you know, the Watkins, they, they had a kid that went to L.A. to pursue comedy. He's gay. Yeah. That's what they, they say. They yeah. say he's a gay kid He's now. going to prance around out he there. He goes to prance yeah. around. They, they don't even know what it is. They're like, oh, he's gay. Yeah. Let's just say I was, yeah. I, let's just say I was uh, to, to put into scope. <laughs> and, like, my family has, has changed, like, political views and stuff, like, even since, like, uh, this. But I was peer pressured to vote for uh, Dick Cheney. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Peer pressure. By your family. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, as long as you do the right thing in 2020, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Your candidate's first name also begins with a D yeah. Yeah. in 2020. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know that? Do you then know that? got passed. She was like, no. <laughs> Donnie T. Formore. <laughs> it's a character Donnie piece. T. It's a character piece. Character, character yeah. piece. Donnie T. Donnie, yeah. T. Donnie, yeah. T. Donnie T. He's, joined the Patriots. He's doing, yeah, he's doing a character piece. <laughs> yeah. That's my friend Patrick Mulroney. I just do a character yeah. piece. Yeah, he just got yeah, to see. is waving his stuff off. She's getting hot over there. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, Patrick Mulroney. Yeah. 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 He just cares about local issues. And yeah. It's a union thing. It's just what it is. It's yeah. what it is. He's one of the guys. He's just a guy. He's just one of the guys. He's not political. He's not really that political. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of us, really. Yeah. You know, we cook in pot roast on Thursday night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, uh, yeah, we're I, a couple firefighters. Yeah, yeah. Love Liz the crumble your wife makes. Thank by the you, way. I appreciate it. Beautiful that. crumble. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Elizabeth Warren should get back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a character piece. Just a character don't piece. Don't yeah, it's yeah. A piece. lot of fourteen. Yeah, what it's got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're wild. So, do you know any yeah. of the backstory, like where they came from, and your family? Oh, uh, my family, not. So much. I mean, so my dad's side, uh, his his parents, so my grandparents were uh, missionaries, actually. Uh -huh. So they uh, they lived in Mississippi and also the Cayman Islands. So my dad grew up in the Cayman Islands. As wow. A kid. wow. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Do they, yeah. What, what, is they U.S. owned the Cayman Islands? Who owns the Cayman Islands? Yeah. Or they're British owned? No, no they're like, um, yeah, there's some sort of commonwealth, right? Do they speak like with a like like um like you an accent? Does your I, I want to know if your dad's like white, but he talks like Bob Marley. That's hey. not how Bob Marley talks. <laughs> hey Jeremiah, how are you? <laughs> yeah, does he have an or did you speak like normal accent? Yeah, my British. first my first words were brah, <laughs> <laughs> boomba clack, boomba clack. Yeah, they uh, they, I know that there's a lot of offshore <coughs> banks in the Cayman Islands. Oh That's yeah, where a lot of people tax evade. Say it again. Yeah. That's where a lot of people tax. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cayman Brack and the Cayman Islands. There's yeah. a lot of offshore. Have you been out there to there. where your dad grew up? No, and my stuff? brother just went there, and I was a little bit jealous. He went with his wife there, and he got to see like where my dad grew That's up. Dope. Like my my dad's old buddy from back in the day. He still lives there. Wow. And he like showed my brother like where my dad like grew up. It was pretty. Was cool. your dad like one of the only white families on the Cayman oh, yeah. Islands that oh, were yeah. living there? That's awesome. Yeah, they were literally like the white family. So wow. like they were. Like anywhere they went, obviously they stuck out like sure, crazy. Sure. And and also, my dad said it was kind of. Uh, I talked to my aunt about this. She said that it was kind of high pressure a little bit to live there because they were also supposed to be like an example, like for the entire island. So she like they're trying to come up as teenagers and kids and stuff, and they're wanting to get into trouble. But yeah. they also have the pressure of being like. To set the Christian example it, for the got entire got island. Oh, so, I thought you meant to set the white example. No, set the white example. <laughs> no, but they like they made a big deal <laughs> out of it when my aunt tried to Wei date a uh, a black guy on the island. They like made they're like mm, we don't know if we like really because like, this was like you know in the fifties or whatever. Holy shit! Yeah. So when did your dad come to Kansas then? Did he go right to Kansas from the Cayman Islands? <sighs> no, he. So then he, uh, I think he was in Mississippi for a while, and then he moved to Kansas City. Uh, like years later, like in his like twenties, I think he started going to uh, to school here in Kansas City, and yeah. then like I think he went to MU for a little bit, and like yeah, started did living you, in Kansas. Did, City did you grow up in a church? Oh yeah, fiery sermons. I Protestant. I yeah yeah I, yeah. I, I grew up going to church like three times a week. Wow wow yeah it was intense. That's Lynn Stefano numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's child abuse numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to me that's yeah. I think it's, I grew well, no, up in but a church, not, but he's not Catholic. No, but I mean no matter. I just think yeah. that much religion is a little child abuse. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, it's not child abuse. You know yeah. what you want to have with the Catholic Church. I mean, I don't want to get into that, but the, the, the Catholic Church is going to blow the thing into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, come on. There, there's I mean, levels. Let's go to, spade to spade. Yeah, there's levels yeah, to everything. Father Bill, shout out. Yeah, there's levels to everything in the Catholic child abuse. Father Billy Boy, how you doing? Father Bill, he got me. He got me. He got me nice in third grade. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, he hunted. Sometimes you get hit. No matter how much you bob and weave, sometimes you just take a fucking left to the chin, and it stings. Yeah. Oh yeah. It stings and it's sticky. And it also, it also, you can't remember it. <laughs> yeah. The memory's just black. Yeah, just kind of blackout. I black out a lot of times in this podcast when you see me, like you said, oh, sometimes you think I'm going to pass out. That's because I'm in a blackout. Okay. So cool. I actually, my brain is actually off and I'm just spewing words. Yeah. I Wild. just, I just think hammering that stuff into your kid's head that much is child abuse. And then the Catholic Church, it's actual child abuse is child abuse. Yeah. So, so what are you going to do? Yeah, there's levels. What to was it. Thomas, was Thomas Edison religious? Did you? Find that? I don't think so. I think he spent so much. Not. I don't think he had anything to do with religion. He literally had eighty-hour work weeks, and uh, he, he would go and live off-site, like from his family. Like his first wife died, then he remarried later on. But it was one of those things where he would spend so much time uh, at his his lab or whatever uh, workspace. Like he would build houses upon the sites wherever he was working on, and he'd yeah. stay there. And he would go home on Sundays to see his family. That's he, it. He would work the entire week and then go home on Sundays. So he was a kid. He was famous and rich in his life. Yeah. Like he wasn't. It wasn't after they're like. Oh, so was Tesla said. though. Those guys were like all Tesla rock stars. died alone in the New Yorker hotel. Though. I know, but he was famous before that. He like, was famous. That stuff okay. was in the paper. These guys were like because this was the era of like new invention. So they would yeah. have these world fairs. So he was like Elon Musk. These guys. Were rock yeah. stars. Yeah. He's, he's one of the only people, like he's one of the only people of like of this century where you asked him what he did for a living, and he's like, "Well, I'm an inventor." Everybody else like had day jobs, and like they would like maybe at night like try to work on stuff at this home his alone. Career. But this was his career. Like this is all he did like every single week. Yeah. One he, of my my favorite facts yeah. that I've, that uh, that I learned about him was uh, his son. After like the Edison name was super established and he's like a celebrity among everybody and his face is on the side of like signs and billboards and, and products and his signature, if, if like it had a signature on it, then it was like endorsed by him where mm -hmm. you should buy that. Uh, his son tried to make money off of the family name mm -hmm. as Thomas Edison Jr. And he sold it to some homeopathic medicine company and his dad's like, whoa. And he like, he's like, I'll, I'll, I'm going to buy your name off you. Wow. He and bought his name off his son, and the, his son had to change his name to Burton Ward or something like that. Do you know who this guy sounds a lot like? Who? Oh. He sounds... Uh, Hebert. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not Hebert. Not that. He sounds a lot like... <laughs> Joseph um, Goebbels? No. Oh. Not that extreme. Okay. But uh, similar anatomy in a lot... You know, a little... Uh, wait, hold on. Let me guess. Who, uh, Take, no, it's from a movie. Oh. Uh, he sounds exactly like... Henry Rowan Garner, Rookie no. of the Year? No, he sounds like the guy from There Will Be Blood. I was going to say Daniel Plainview. Dan yeah, he, like Daniel Plainview. You ever see There Will Be Blood? No, uh -uh. Daniel Day Lewis, I right? Drink your milkshake. Yeah, I drink your milkshake. I yeah yeah yeah. So he's a, that guy was a fucking psychopath. Thomas Edison is has fumes to me. Yeah, he's, oh really? Yeah, I don't oh, like this guy. Fumes, and he totally he fucking kind of tricked Tesla. He like because he kind of took him under his wing a little bit, right? Like they were collaborating, and yeah. then he kind of tricked him at the end. He stole his shit. He took advantage of his kindness, and he knew what he was doing. He was a premeditated asshole. The guy did he did move us forward, but with other people's shit a lot right. of ways. He had to step on a lot of. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, no, we're gonna cackle that. Whoa! We're gonna cackle that. Wow. We're back. <laughs> That was not a and Chris Stefano cackle. That was a Giannis Papas cackle. Hashtag <laughs> triggered. Wow. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It, it, I just, I pulled the Chrissy. <laughs> Holy shit. But we'll on cackle, leave it on cackle on the Patreon or no? Uh, we'll, think, well, we'll make Venetia make Venetia the said <laughs> we're dope. She says we're cackling, right? Yeah. No, she says we can uncackle it on the on Patreon. the Patreon. It's a joke. It was a character piece. Yeah. Right. What if? What, how about if we? When I'm saying it's a character piece and I really don't mean it, I just say it without the accent. It was a character piece. It's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like a way. Yeah. 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 Just, I was just joking. Yeah. No, she's a monster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the products that uh, Edison Jr. put his name on. Kid's uh, fucking ripped up. Yeah. What is this product now? I'm glad you told us that story. I didn't know that. It's a Magno Electric Vitalizer. Basically, it was like fake Kinesio tape. <laughs> okay. Dude, he went after his own son. Yep. And so he paid him a weekly allowance of like twenty five dollars a week or something. So like, be like, yeah, you're going by a different name now. And he's like, wow, oh, okay, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, I guess that's I'll what do some people. I mean, some people, you know, I mean, it's like, listen, family is family until you get in the way of the money. Then it's like, you know yeah. what, guy, you got to go. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, to go after your own son's wild. It's kind of wild. It's actually exactly what he did in the movie. So I wonder if Tom that movie was based on Thomas Edison a little Could bit. Could have been. Yeah. Probably. It actually probably was. Remember that? Where he was like, you're not my son anymore. His son starts his uh his own oil company, and he tells him that it's just ma- it just makes him a competitor. Yeah, and it now makes you're him, a like, competitor. His son. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but if so, if people are calling like when when he, people are literally calling him like while he's alive, if if people are telling you you are the greatest person who's alive over and over and over. It's got to take a toll on your on your psyche. Be of like, of course, you're the great. They called him the Wizard of Menlo Park. Wow, the Wizard, because the he wizard. kept coming up with all these amazing inventions and stuff like that. Did he? But so he he's not one of these guys that died penniless. He died rich as oh fuck. My oh my god! Yeah, like a probably a modern day billionaire. Yeah, I mean. but, but so the General Electric thing that I mentioned earlier, it was because of his boneheadedness and his stubbornness. He Why? was also on substance. He was also an alcoholic. No, no that kid, was his kid. Oh, his kid died of substance abuse. Oh, wait, wait. No, yeah. oh, Thomas Jr. Kid. died in 1935 due in part to his substance abuse because his fucking dad right, is a daddy psycho. issues. Yeah. 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 So I'm sorry, what were you saying? So the gener- General Electric thing was, uh, where was I going with that? He was boneheaded. Oh, so he kept, uh, like they had him on the board of, uh, of General Electric and they wanted to go with the alternating current and he basically got outvoted and he it, it probably would have been called like Edison light bulbs to this day had he not put up such a fight about like, no, I'm right, I'm right. So that's why they went like with a different company name and they voted like him out of his, his shares. Really? Uh, yeah. He got outvoted out of it. So in the end, being that egotistical maniac, you really don't really win in the end. I think you kind of at the end, you don't. I mean, you look, At the you, end of the day, I don't yeah. think you do. I mean, look at Mike Ovitz. You Who's know, Mike? Oh, head of CIA, a, yeah, right? Big agent, like just blackball at the end. I mean, you made your money. I mean, my, Michael Jordan is the greatest, but nobody likes him. You know, right. like everyone hates him. He's kind of like notoriously a piece of shit. Right. You know, he says, hey, you know, Republicans buy sneakers, too. He don't give a fuck about his community. He don't give a fuck about anybody. Yeah. He gambles. We do. You know, so I don't know. It's a, uh, but, you know, he did. <laughs> character. Patrick Maroney buys hey, Jordans. All right. It's a yeah, character. it's not Chris Stefano, but Patrick Maroney, coincidentally, both hey. our mom's names are Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he do a lot of coke, too, Thomas Edison? I mean, kids coked out. So did Sigmund Freud. I mean, you just yeah. did a little blow back then. You just did a little blow back then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a little blow. So did Justin little, Silver just this weekend. Blow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You do a little blow. It's a little blow. It's, it's blow is blow. It's a little blow. You take a little sniff. You know. Yeah. What are you gonna do? And then you take like little naps. He's like famous for his his cat naps. He would have a like a little single bed like wherever he was at. Like so he could literally nap, wake up, and go right back to inventing. Jesus all this Christ. all the research now is saying that napping is you need to nap. Oh yeah. Even, yeah. even there should be naps all the way through every part of school, including college. Yeah. Like to to take to make kids. I try feel to sit a there. thousand percent better yeah. after I take a twenty minute nap. I feel so much They're better. Man, it's all the research is saying naps are important for the human brain. Those things always go back and forth though. Don't, it's like you know, coffee's bad. Then the, the the last one is like three to five cups is good. It's not even a lot. Well, I would trust the more just, recent research. Red meat's now because, good. It's bad. But it's, all this new recent research because the, the way they can nap neural uh, map neural activity now in your brain is like it's second to none. Right. It's like they just know. How much it enhances after you nap. Right. How much more you can retain. All right. Yeah, it also comes it. down to who is, you know, funding the research. So. Oh sure. Of right. Course. Right. You know, yeah. The sugar industry was saying, sure, you know, it's not yeah. that bad. It's like yeah. if the pillow industry is telling you take naps. Like, yeah. Unless yeah. it's my pillow, which yeah. I'll buy it because it's American. <laughs> no, you should always. You think, it's like wait, sleeping on you a. You don't want to get behind big pillow. <laughs> yeah. You think the pillow industry is really campaigning? Like we gotta sell more pillows. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> pillows aren't as popular as they used to be. We gotta get some pro pillow studies out there. I'm like her. And she's like her. <laughs> Speaking of mark marketing, though, I don't know if we mentioned that. That my pillow. Did we mention this? The my pillow. It, that you know, I even know the name My Pillow. Have you ever put your head on a My Pillow? No. It, it's like a cinder block. It's really? like the it's it's so uncomfortable. It's it's hilarious. But you know, it's like that. I'm an American guy. We made them here. This episode of History of Hyena is brought to you by My, My Pillow. Pillow. Yeah, we have our facts. It's, like, it's the worst thing. You got to try it. It's the sponsor of today's <laughs> yeah. episode. It's still with old dictionary. <laughs> it's actually like the example for why everything went overseas. When yeah. you buy it, you're going like, I get it. Okay. Same thing with Casper mattress. Everyone yeah. buys a Casper. It's like, I no, don't those know. are good. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. Because then they also might sponsor. Can I just yeah. say that guy looks like he's never held anything in his life? <laughs> <laughs> like it's the most awkward, like mannequin hands. Like, yeah. no, this is comfort in the, your hand. It's very tasty when you lie on. Good for you. My pillow. Can, 
can be yours as well, my pillow. Good for a wife, good for a life, my pillow. <laughs> he looks like he, but he's, he's an American kid. Oh, yeah. You've you never seen, a, have you seen those infomercials? No. You've never seen a my pillow? I've never seen a my pillow! Jesus well, Christ. In LA, it's probably different infomercials. Wild. I mean, no, my pillow's everywhere, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like hipster commercials in yeah. LA. It's like, hey, uh, do you have a pillow of the past? <laughs> Check out my pillow. <laughs> no, my pillows are everywhere, man. Yeah, let him see it. So that you get the right. I mean, this guy Fox. For you as an individual. <laughs> you get the right. Every pillow you buy nowadays, you're, you're saying because my pillow is. I love this guy. We yeah. just need to yeah. figure out how much fill in there yeah. is required you're to keep your neck always in the, the right definition of a guy who fucks. Just pause it for a second. Yeah. I guarantee you're you a... that this guy doesn't make those pillows. <laughs> no. I guarantee you, it's some huge company that's like, let's find the most normal American guy yeah. who you would meet at like a bar in the middle of Wisconsin yeah, and just Patrick fuck Rooney pillows. Yeah, I mean, he's just like he doesn't even know what he's talking yeah he's like his pillows are he's like you do you have problems with your vertebrae okay then uh then slap uh this three times lie on it on a tuesday and you'll figure it out by friday yeah yeah Yeah, he also are soft the pillows are soft (laughs) okay firm or i want soft they're all soft. They're all soft. <laughs> so all we need to get is the right, um, the right they're, size they're, for you. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We're going to simplify it. Every pillow has a color-corded tag. Uh, this is the green He called it genius. color-corded, by the yeah. way. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's ha- he sounds yeah. hammered. He's hammered. Yeah. Five yeah. colors, four pillows. We're going to start with the yellow level. The yellow level is One of the colors is women. Ten years of age. <laughs> it's also for stomach sleeping. True, men. that's true. Only and it's white. White women. We also for petite women. Uh, the five foot, you know, four, five foot one, five This is foot all below. bullshit. Yeah. It's, a, it's hilarious. We, it's a Tim and Eric sketch. Shoulders. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Uh, yellow for people is like a that. child here. stomach sleeper. Yeah. This is that's the last thing you want, so your child vo- this, this this chokes on its here, vomit. Typically is uh, uh, every, every woman. I have no never seen this. When was the last time you saw this commercial? I've never seen this. This guy was as popular as like the sham Yeah, how have you guys not seen the MyPillow? I haven't seen it. Because they're not watching, because they're watching shit like they're not watching... TV at night, like when they're drunk, eat it. Like we watch TV. We're I from know, that but generation. This, they're this watching. was hard to avoid for a little while. I mean, it was every right. channel. It was everywhere. Uh, it's also yeah. for smaller men. I would say. <laughs> yeah. Five, eight, five, I mean, nine, he's making eight, it up eight, as he's going eight, along. Uh, <laughs> this, this one's a dwarf <laughs> pillow over here. <laughs> and smaller guys are. Smaller, yeah, smaller guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one is uh, for your crotch over here when you're alone in the middle of the night and uh, you don't have another woman in your bed. You put it between your legs and here we go. And this next pillow over here. <laughs> yeah, this one over here is when you're uh, you don't have that much money and you're splitting a hotel room with your buddy, but you don't want to feel like a homosexual. So you put this one between the other guy. It's a good wall. It's a straight wall. He's just making it up as he's fucking he's talking. He's dead now. I think he dropped out of a heart attack, right? No, he's still alive. So that the was, that was Billy guy. Oh, Billy Mays, okay. Yeah. yeah. Almost all guys up to us, maybe six. I love how that pillow's for it's almost kind of all guys. For, yeah. Almost. Yeah, for almost. Yeah, this guy should, um, yeah. Guys, all the way up to an XL shirt. Uh, and yeah. It's also for larger women. Uh, that have <laughs> like Can you pause it for a second? He's got Jesus on his chest. Up when have you <laughs> ever walked into a hotel and seen a pillow and been like, that one's not my size? Yeah. Never. That's for <laughs> extra large guys. <laughs> Never. My I mean, lady. <laughs> yeah, uh, that one, yeah, that pillow over there. That's uh, sorry, I could call front desk. Like, I'm sorry, you don't have the right size pillow for me. I'm a medium sized guy. You got extra large guys. Every this... every guy when they go to a hotel, listen to this, need to call down and go. You gave me lady pillow. You gave me a lady pillow. Yeah. This, yeah. I mean, this guy couldn't be more full of shit. But he's is that a little Jesus cross? Yeah, he's got, it's a he's got Jesus uh, with them. So I mean, yeah. this is straight out of Central Casting. There's, now, yeah. now here's the thing about this pillow: you will fall asleep for three days and rise three days later. You will get the best <laughs> sleep of your life. <laughs> we this call this good, one the Jesus. This is the this is the savior, savior pillow. This is the savior pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this maybe a woman that just sleeps on her side that has broader shoulders. Yeah, you need more height for your side. Uh-huh. Than what do you? Your back yeah. or your stomach? You know, if you're a wildebeest of a woman <laughs> and, you, and you weigh 400 pounds, this pillow's for you and all your back issues. Now, if you want to kill someone, this one's really gonna fucking hold over someone's face. If you want to kill Giannis's father? This yeah, is the pillow for you. <laughs> if you want to smother him? <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the blue level. 
is for one person, and that's the guy, a guy that with over six foot one, <laughs> or a guy that's real broad, stock and shoulders. Beefcakes. Wait a minute, this is not for you. Size sleeping. I'm trying to remember how we went no from Edison to this control. right now. Yeah. How did we get there? Very, <laughs> yeah. Very thick. Damn. Inven- yeah, true. Inventions. Soft, but it's got a lot yeah. of loft. And it's, <laughs> please do not buy this one because it, it's not going to go flat. Yeah. None of my pillows do. They're going to stay. What you get is what it is. Yeah. So don't buy up thinking it's going to be like a conventional pillow that goes flat. Yeah. It's going to be the same on day one as it is on year You nine. are so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All pillows That's go right down red. when you put your head on them. Red. Yeah. And that red pillow is for one person and one person only. Me. It's a, it's a guy that is a huge shoulders <laughs> that only sleeps on his side. Ah, okay. He the height. Oh, that's his, what it is. For his side sleeping to take the pressure off his yeah. shoulders. Yeah. And this pillow is Imagine you're born and this is your life to be this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine like you look back at your life you're on your deathbed. I was like I was that I that's was I got I was bullshitting about pillows. I was yeah. the my pillow guy. I yeah. was the my pillow guy guy bear me with my pillow <laughs> well you're back there it is who you are so this pillow is only for one person that's a large i couldn't find headphones so i'm kind of just out oh side. sorry i've been looking and for them another thing too this all go these colors all go for the same I've for been laughing size long. pillows yeah uh, this, it works exactly the same you got your thinnest loft being your yellow white oh, green thanks. blue and then the red and i can't say keep pausing for a second don't buy he's got four pillows on that table I cannot tell the difference between any of those pillows. No. Like this, if I went to his demonstration, I would be like, dude, I don't see a difference. They all are the same pillow. He could have, those could be four of the same pillows. And he's saying, oh, this one's woman pillow. This one's a he's man pillow. He's just moving them up and down on the table. Yeah. <laughs> well, he fucked just, all four of them. So. Yeah. yeah. I am thinking they're going to go flat at night. This is what my pillow is all about. It's going to stay where you put it, and it's going to hold there like a million He sounds like he's actively having up. a stroke. Yeah. It's so important <laughs> that this you commercial. listen to what I just said on the video here. Uh, we do have the 60-day 60 60 money-back guarantee, but you're not going to want to re- ever return this pillow if you get fitted right. Obviously, oh. if, I, if you bought this blue pillow that's why I'll return it. bent your neck on the upright, you're not going to like it. Yeah. So I'm, that's, that's why fitting is so important. And if you follow what I just oh, told you, and it's going to be an amazing sleep. So you got to watch that drunk instructional video to make sure you get your yeah. pillow right. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. This I guy, mean, look, Nate Bargatze did a my pillow reveal. <laughs> the third one down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there could be a less complicated pr- uh, process than buying a pillow. I, I don't think you need an instruction. What did Joe video. Rogan say about my pillow? He's in there. Oh That's no, he says something else. Oh, all right. Yeah. Anyway, we just got on a real yeah, tangent a, yeah, about the my pillow guy. Yeah. tried to get us back on and she couldn't. Yeah. But I, now we're back. You know what? Right. I'm I'm really curious. You I, got us on it because you just yelled something that had to be cackled out. That's true. Oh, that's yeah. Right. But it was funny. That was but worth it. But it is an invention. Mike said my pillow is an invention, so it kind of does fit with the theme. Yeah, it does kind of fit with the theme. He invented some bullshit. He so. did. Yeah. But Thomas Edison invented bullshit too. But I mean, we always remember the kid's name. Yeah. What, yeah. Were, what, were what was his biggest the... invention? No, but I'm saying like the, the marketing the aspect. Bulb. The marketing aspect is fascinating because you're right. It's kind of like that's what put him over the top, and that's what put every that's what puts everything over the top. It's just marketing. Even religions, even anything. It's like. It, it, if you got a good religion, like it's got to be marketed right. Hell yeah! You can't just you got to get your shit together. You got to get a government involved. Say what you will about Scientology, their marketing is great. It's great. great. Hey, come they in here. Everything. Let's take a test. Did you see the Scientology commercial? Uh, they've been doing it uh, on the Super Bowls lately. No. Yeah, last year they had a Scientology. Like it was like like these people walking. It was like this nice scenery, and then at the end it was like Church of Scientology. Yeah. Find out more here. It's just like. Whoa! 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 Yeah, maybe. Didn't know I you're won't. you're cracking the mainstream ads now. This yeah, is well, wild. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, I mean they'll probably start doing ads on podcasts. I mean, would you do an ad read for Scientology? Yeah, yeah I mean if they fucking if they gave you enough money. Yeah, dude, I would do an ad for. I mean, yeah, <laughs> guy, I'm trying to put a kid through fucking college. Yeah, like, what do you need me to do? That's I'll be he... pro anything for the money. Yeah, <laughs> even left. Would you do an Elizabeth? No would you do an Elizabeth Warren read ad read? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd do an Elizabeth Warren ad read if it was fucking dropping her to a barrel of acid. <laughs> Not a 14. <laughs> <laughs> no, He's I'm kidding. I fucking think Elizabeth Warren's great. Yeah, she's great. No, she's seriously. Great. I, I, I'm more Democrat. I'm more left than right. Yeah. I am. I vote more. I, I, I've always voted left. I've never voted right ever in one election. Right. It's going to change big time in 2020. <laughs> but, but no, I'm serious. I, I do like Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. yeah. What she's do you got the same it, haircut as my mom. Yeah. What do you think his worst invention was? Ooh, 
I, that's a that's an interesting. If you asked question. him, he'd say my son, the good for nothing who tried to steal my idea. <laughs> yeah, the worst invention that came out of my dick. I'm an oil man. Um, one 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 the quote that I I like a lot uh, about from that he's famous for is uh, that he said he's never failed. He's just figured out how to uh, create things wrong thousands of times. Something like that. I like that that mentality. It was like yeah. no no I no I'm just. I'm figuring things out. Like I'm interesting, not, you know. Like it is the opposite true. of defeat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is kind of true because it's like six kids so, he had. But he had, but but oh, so this is one of the coolest things because Edison was such a bully in the uh, in the film industry in the motion picture industry at the very beginning, uh, like when it was in its infancy. I find this really cool, and this goes back on you need somebody to motivate you to go out and do something. They were doing everything from New Jersey because, like, that's like where he was mm-hmm. living, and they were like, that's where like the motion pictures and stuff that they were creating and shooting were all in Jersey. He basically wanted to have a monopoly on the entire film industry to the point where if there was anybody who made any kind of motion picture, he was going to get residuals and a percentage and own it. Like, very mafioso. Like Lauren Michaels. That's kind of what he yeah. does now. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They, you they sign go for SNL, he seven gets a percentage years. of your whole oh, no. shit. He makes yeah. you sign Make a contract movies. before you audition. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you're yeah. Sign- if he likes you, you're already signed. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, he tried to bully out a couple other guys, and they're like, you know what? Why are we... Like, he, he took them to court, like like... He tried to get them like hundreds of times into court. Like he was trying to drain their bank accounts and basically make them obsolete so he could still own the monopoly. Wow. And those two guys, they actually were like, Why are we staying in Jersey? They moved out to Los Angeles and they started 20th Century Fox and they started Paramount and I think Universal. They started those three studios. Wow. That's interesting. There you go. I didn't know that was tied to time. That was Edison all because all. of Edison was a dick and he was trying to shut them down and they were trying to show their own movies in movie theaters because they were like, Edison's films suck. There are all these these things where it's just like like puppets like fighting each other and stuff. It's like very like, like not Elvis. entertaining. And they're they're like, we want to make actual Real motion pictures, real cinema, and real movies. So they that's what gave them the drive to move west. So the wow. whole movie industry could have been in New Jersey yeah. if Edison wasn't a dick. Yeah, wow. which would have been wow. a way different industry. Oh, wow. Way different. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more porn. Yeah. Guy, get his, there would be more guys going like, you got fucking five minutes to get to set. Yeah. All right? Right? What the guy. fuck's going on with this yeah. fucking prima donna? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, asking like, for all like these fucking Christian, smoothies. Like that Christian Bale video we reference sometimes near when he's like screaming at oh, the yeah. fucking. It's like if New Jersey guy would Bale would have just got punched in the face, he would have broke his arm. Yeah, if it was and then he would just have Jersey? to finish Batman with a broken fucking arm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just what it is. Wow, that's that's really interesting. that's really interesting. But you see, you never fucking know. I mean, he had his hands in everything. I mean, he's kind of like the. Um, well, he got so rich to kind of like Kevin Hart. Or yeah. no, not Kevin Hart, but he's kind of like uh, what's his Je- Jeff Bezos a little bit. Yeah, a little he's bit. Yeah, kind of gets yeah. heads and everything. Yeah, because he, he like he got to that level, he has money to throw around. So any ideas and any upcoming inventions, that's why he started buying them out and being like, hey, no, I'll, I'll pay you for this, but it's going out under my name. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that's my like my buddy Jesse Scatura always said, there's no end to up. It's yeah. like a guy like Bezos, a guy like Edison. When you're wired that way, it's like you conquer one mountain. You're like you want to invest. Let me get into this. Let me get into that. It's Stagnation is like death for capitalists to this degree. You know, they're kind of like growth. If you're not growing, you're dying, which is good. So when did he actually build the light bulb then? Like, when did he invent that? I think that was around 1880, I think, somewhere around there. That was his biggest thing, and that was the thing. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I was Because that's like what you know him from, Con Edison. And also, like, the big thing, uh, like the war that was going on with Alexander Graham Bell is... And one of Edison's biggest accomplishments is uh, before, like, he even was influenced by other people or anything, he invented the first recording, like the first audio recording <laughs> that you could actually play back, which was like the like uh, the, he made a bunch of different versions of the phonograph, but it was basically what came out before, like vinyl and stuff like that. Was they had their like it, its own little uh, like kind of film reel or, or some kind of wax or something that whenever you cranked it, you could play back a recording. And that was wow. like the first like audio recording, which is like people. I wonder, can we listen to that? I wonder if they have. I that. Think it's, they, it's, it's Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little. Yeah, they yeah. have it somewhere. Let's wow. have it, it somewhere. Yeah, but it's kind of like you can't really it's hear like, it. Mary right? had a little lamb. Is it Edison's <laughs> voice though? Yeah, it's right I, here. It might be. Let's hear it. The first words I spoke in the original phonograph: a little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a 
Sounds like Bane from Batman. <laughs> it does. Everywhere that Mary went. He does. That's really how people used to talk. Yeah, yeah they had that sort of... Yeah. Accents it's a change. different, ca- Yeah, it's a different yeah. cadence, for sure. Our cadence and accents will sound we so are. weird 100 years from now. They, yeah, nobody will speak like this. Yeah, well, everyone's You're speaking gonna, like this. Now everyone's going to speak like this in the future. It's going to kind of just be... There'll be no more genders. Everyone will just go... <laughs> make sounds to... Pre- yeah. What is his gender? <laughs> no. It's... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's going to just be sounds. Do you remember when you called people by gender? And now yeah. Just, yeah, we say it in our minds. And when people get competitive, they're going to talk just like this, too. But like, yo, man, I'm going to take you down today. It's going to be me versus you one on one. Game to 21. Well, competition <laughs> doesn't exist in the future either. That's true. That's true. It's more of that. just like, that's kind of a passe kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The like, like people you sit, can you believe trophies were a thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, there's, we, I didn't get first place. We all got first place and last place together. Yeah. yeah. There's no places. There is no losing. There's no winning. There's just being. Yeah. We're yeah. just being. It's just being. We're yeah. just being. It was for, we played this game for the experience. Yeah. We took turns winning and losing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, oh, it's 12 o'clock. It's time to pray to St. Ocasio Cortez. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's going to be the next one. St. AOC. Oh, God. I can't wait for her dictatorship. Yeah, it's happening. Just fucking, it's yeah, coming. I can't fucking wait. It's going to be Donnie for another four and then her. That's yeah, what it's going to And then it's over. Yeah. And then it's truly over. Because those are the only two candidates that can capture the attention span of modern people. Because yeah. yep. they're, 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 they're performers. They sure. have, uh, you know, they're stars. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. Okay. yeah, nobody yeah. wants to say Elizabeth Warren just looks like someone's mom cooking fucking pumpkin bread in the kitchen. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, I want you to be bright orange like Donnie T or just a raving fucking Latina lunatic like Ocasio-Cortez. Yeah, yeah. it's a character piece. Yeah, it's a character yeah. piece. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ocasio-Cortez has that same look as you know the p- women in my life that push the air conditioners out my window on the ninth floor. Yeah, she does have a look in her eyes. She she's fucking, kind of, she's got a she crazy look. White men. And, and people are like, oh, she's she's got a white boyfriend. It's like, yeah, you always hate fuck. That's what you do. No, I, I know your fucking mo. I don't know about that, but she definitely. No, she hates white guys. I she, guarantee she blames us for she blames whites for everything. I don't know, but I do know she Listen, has a sister. Look, she has that kind of like, <laughs> she has that look in her eyes, like I got the answer. Though people like that scare me, who figure like yeah. I got it figured out. Yeah, socialism is gonna work. Whatever yeah, you say, yeah, lady. It's, it's never been tried before. Whatever go you say, for it. Lady. Yeah, it's just go, go, go for it. Do it. Yeah. yeah, go for okay? it. I don't give a fuck what you do. Go run in the marathon. Whatever the fuck you want to do, just yeah. stay out of politics, okay? I don't give a fuck what you got to say anymore. Yeah, well, well we warned you. He's from L.A., so he's freaked out right now. Yeah. Because in L.A., yeah. we would have been arrested by I'm now. Just, I'm, just, I'm, yeah. I'm just watching these creatures in their natural habitat <laughs> right now. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't know what you want me to say to this fucking lady. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, you're voting her in, and then the... <laughs> You got to be like, oh, I love this woman. <laughs> it's like. You're... <laughs> so the truth of the matter <laughs> is I can't believe that. <laughs> but we just have to fucking tuck our dicks back. <laughs> wow. There was... Oh, my God. That fucking. I think he had two steel pipes, one in each hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus. Christ. Christ. Yeah, just give her the way yeah. she had rate him down. I mean, wow. Well, so yeah, I'm just sorry, ca- just kidding. We have Mo Amir coming up on the show yeah, very soon. He's just We're joking. Pro Muslim. I was just kidding around. Yeah, yeah, I was just honestly joking. It was a character piece, truly. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a character piece called Patrick Mulroney. Those are the opinions of a firefighter named Patrick Mulroney. Yeah, it's, I'm he's just, from Corona Queens and he's in Ladder 14. I'm just joking around, but let's you know, let's just piece. not play stupid. I mean, those women, you know, they're it's kind of wild that they're in Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Lad 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 yeah, Lad 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 let's just yeah. fucking stick to what works, and that's old white. Uh, yeah, 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 no, <laughs> Lad Lad yeah. It's uh, he's reading from a script. Uh, it's from a, sh- a little character piece I wrote called Ladder Fourteen. Yeah, it's just Ladder Fourteen. Yeah, 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 we'll work it out later. We yeah. have a guess here. Yeah, it's just what it is. I mean, yeah, we wouldn't have won World War One and World War Two with Ocasio Cortez, okay, lady. I mean, go, 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 teach them Zumba toots. <laughs> Ladder Fourteen <laughs> character piece. Now we see these two creatures, what is called as peacocking in the male community. They're trying to one-up each other, <laughs> one crazy thing by the next. It's a yeah. beautiful yeah. thing to see here yeah. in New York yeah. City. It's no, just I, wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to one-up them. I was trying to get out of the conversation somehow. I'm just kidding around. Obviously, no, I'm just no, joking. No, it's a character around. piece. No, it's just yeah. a character piece. Kidding yeah. around. Vote yeah. for, yeah. for whoever you want to vote for. Yeah, no, we love it. We're just happy. Just, uh, you know. We actually support AOC. That's we what do. we're going No, for. we do. Yeah, we support AOC. Yeah, I support everything has got to do. Yeah, you know me. I'm a citizen of the world. I just, I, you know, uh, 
yeah. countries are a construct. Everything's a construct. I just love people. I love. Uh, I love people first. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah especially yeah. AOC. She's I love a good people person. first. Yeah, yeah. She's as, long fix as, you, it. as long as you. <laughs> Way so light. Speaking of lights, the uh, incandescent light bulb was invented in 1970. Yeah, I'll stick ah. that thing right in my ass. I mean, I'll fucking that looks. It looks like that light bulb's gone pewing. Yeah, it does look a little bit. But you know what I really want to talk about? I want to because I, I got curious. We got to go soon. I know, Jeremiah's but I've got to get on the yeah, bonfire. Yeah, but I got to talk. We got a meeting, and Venetia is pissed. Yeah, I know, but we got to talk about this before he leaves because okay, I'm curious. Great. I want a burger. Because anyone who comes fucking up like vegan. strictly religious. No, I'm curious. Like, how how do your parents feel about the comedy? Are, you, are they cool with it? Yeah, uh, everything is so different from when I grew up. Yeah. Their their viewpoints are like way different. So they have changed. Like, oh yeah. yeah, it's like night and day difference. Really? Yeah, right. yeah. That's interesting. What a, happened? How did they change? Like, uh, different family. He's stuff. a preacher though, right? No, no. My brother is actually uh, like he's in school like to become a minister though. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah. Yeah. But uh, so my like my brothers is, still goes to church every week, but my mom doesn't, and then my dad like goes occasionally. So they're oh, like not. Wow. It's so they kind way of reformed different. a little. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 They got divorced when I when I was in high school, and there was like a, a big like flop on views on wow on like yeah completely everyone so i've seen both sides yeah everyone started to like reflecting on their lives and stuff huh after the divorce it woke everybody up a little bit yeah everybody. like let's figure this out why do i believe this stuff i mean i think so yeah and then are like, you religious still of, jeremiah i am like a spiritual person Got but it. i don't like i don't i don't i do not enjoy going to church anymore i think it's right. probably because i was forced to go so much as a yeah. kid. Yeah, same with me. But uh, you know, I still pray and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, organized religion is not my thing. Anymore. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. spiritual. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I think um, so. All right, this was a fucking great episode. This was. I mean, this kid fucking knows shit about Tommy. E. Yeah, he knew a lot, and I. Yeah. He and not only did he know a lot, the facts that he brought were interesting facts. Hell yeah! I mean, the one about his son—that's a pewing fact. The, it's pewing. The documentary that I watch on YouTube only had like eighteen thousand views. I'm like, this is the one. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. those are always yeah, the yeah. ones. Yeah. So Jeremiah Watkins, check him out. You get him on Kill Tony, his album Reagan and Watkins. Jeremiah Wonders, his podcast is great. Um, what's your website? JeremiahWatkins.com. Yeah, JeremiahWatkins.com, and I've got tour dates on there uh, coming up. Uh, I'll be headlining in uh, in St. Louis, uh, Chicago, Kansas City. So uh, yeah, I'll be it's coming amazing. to a city near you, San Diego, Huntington Beach. So there you go. Beautiful. And then uh, check me out, ChristyComedy.com. I also have a bunch of dates uh, coming up. They're all on my website: New York, Denver, Phoenix. Um, then Giannis? GiannisPappasComedy.com. Go to the website. I got a uh, couple dates up there now. And, of course, HistoryHyenas.com. I mean, get there. Get the merch. Go to our Instagram what? at HistoryHyenas. Yeah, that? that's Summer Ray. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Go, to, go, go get that stuff. Yeah, she's not a fan of the show anymore. <laughs> Um, but it's just that's so okay ass. Is she uh, is yeah. she wearing your merch? Yeah, yeah it was is. just it was a situation and uh <laughs> you know, those are the good old days. Christy and now, D, uh Christy D got a little out of control. That's yeah, just, that's just kinda right. over. So it's nice that she's allowing us to Does she to still listen or no? Up. I would say that's a hard no. Yeah. Let's just say she bought the wrong my pillow, all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just uh but yeah, uh if you're, if you're listening by some chance, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash Bay Rich Boys. Uh, follow oh. Zach at oh. Z the Dropout. Yes. And uh, follow me at, at Mike B. Swartz. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Word. <laughs> <laughs>